Today I'm going to show you how to make Ohanami Bento, which is a bento box for sakura viewing. I'm going to show you how to make Inari Zushi in this video, which is a perfect recipe for parties or any kind of events. So I hope you can try it out and I hope you enjoy it. Oh, by the way, we've been to sakura viewing on the weekend, but the weather was cold and cloudy and the sakura trees weren't in full bloom. But I have some clips from that time, so I'm going to share that in the end of the video, so I hope you enjoy it. If your rice cooker has a sushi mode, please use sushi mode to cook rice. Meanwhile, let's cook aburage deep fried tofu pouch. Place the aburage lengthwise and trace it with a chopstick to make it easy to open. Cut in halves and open. To make a change, you can turn the skins inside out. Put the aburage in boiling water for a minute to remove the excess oil. Now drain and soak them in a bowl of water to cool. Stack up 3-4 pieces at a time then drain well. Now you need dashi broth, you can use water. I'm using sugar substitute, but you can use regular sugar, of course. Then you need mirin and soy sauce. Mix well. Then put aburage and bring to a boil. Then turn the heat down to low and cover with a droplet. Simmer until the liquid is reduced to quarter. When it's done, stop the heat and let them cool completely. Now let's make sushi vinegar. You need sugar, salt, vinegar, then mix well. Now place the cooked rice in a bowl. Then add the sushi vinegar while the rice is hot and cut through the rice using a rice puddle. Mix some sesame seeds if you like. Now divide the rice into 14 equal portions. Wet your hands and make small balls of sushi rice. Take a piece of aburage and lightly press with your hand to remove the excess liquid. Fold back the cut edge to make it easy to stuff the rice. Now stuff a bowl of sushi rice and close the pouch. To make them gorgeous, you can top with your favorite toppings. Ikanago is my favorite, my grandma made this. Crab meat is my favorite too. This one is refreshing. If you follow my Instagram, you know that I eat this often. Now place them in a bento box. With any kind of your favorite side dishes. And now it's done! Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.